What is happening, YouTube? Today, this was a NBA debut of my favorite player, Gigi Jackson. Um, you know, he played some minutes before, but it was not like a good <clears throat> quality minutes. Um, other than the preseason, which he did drop 24 points, but. In this game, he played against the New York Knicks, and he did pretty phenomenal. He really did do pretty well. Unfortunately, <coughs> the Grizzlies, they did not, they were not able to beat the New York Knicks. The New York Knicks, they just simply out-rebounded us. Um, they're like a big man-oriented team, and the Grizzlies, um, Considering now they don't have Jaron Jackson Jr., they don't have a big man who could get a rebound. So, <clears throat> unfortunately, the Grizzlies eventually lost. But it was so nice to see my man Gigi Jackson having to shine. And he's doing pretty good. But anyways, let's, let's talk about the Grizzlies. Xavier Tillman, um, 6 or 15, 12 points. He got, like, a lot of steals and one block. Um, he's a solid big, five rebounds, but his rebounding is pretty low. Um, I think he's only, like, he's under 6'10". Um, <coughs> David Roddy is literally a power forward. Um, he's only 6'4". He is a big bruiser, so that's kind of, like, why it's, it's a, somewhat possible to make him the power forward. Um, he had a solid scoring night. 6 for 12. 2 for 4 from 3. Um, 2 steals, 1 assist, 4 rebounds. Lou Kennard, former Clipper. Um, 2 for 8 from 3. Um, his shot wasn't really falling, but he hit some solid 3s. <coughs> um, 2 for 8, which could have been better. But um, he is moving the ball. Pretty well. Um, I noticed like his improvement from the Clippers and the Grizzlies. Luke Kennard, in my opinion, I felt like his uh, ball handling and even his shot creation pretty much improved. Um, you know, more he's more able to kind of like drive to the basket more more easier compared to when he was with the Clippers when he kind of played a little bit timid. But he's definitely a pretty like a good quality player. Um, three rebounds to assist. Pretty good player. Um, Jacob Gilliard. Um, not so good offensively. Um, <coughs> he did get seven assists. Two rebounds. Um, he's pretty much like kind of like a G League type. Uh, starting point guard. Um, low key. Like the Grizzlies could have been even better off. They just gave Xavier Moon a shot. I believe Xavier Moon would probably be better than uh, than uh, Jacob Gilliard. Or maybe even give Sharif Cooper a shot. But, you know, but, but either option would have been cool. Um, Grizzlies are trying to tank, so I guess, you know, got nothing to lose. So it's no, no biggie. <coughs> um... Vince Williams, pretty solid, 5 for 13. Not so good with the threes, but he got a lot of rebounds and assists. I'm telling you, this guy's a really solid player. Um, I found out about him, you know, trying to watch some Grizzlies game. Um, you know, I just watch him for GG Jackson, but Vince Williams, he's added on my bucket list. He recently signed a really team-friendly extension. He's a pretty good player. Um, ultimate team player, which he was willing to sign a con an extension instead of trying to gamble and to get like a big team contract. Pretty good 3 and D type player. Very solid. Sire Williams, 2 over 8. I'm uh, kind of like missing a lot of shots. Um, he had 1 3. I uh, went to the free throw line. Hasn't been really it for the Grizzlies. Four rebounds, two assists, one block, um, ten points. Um, Jay LaRavia, 
Looks like he got hurt, unfortunately. Grizzlies, they just been injured, man. Which, <clears throat> which has been a huge bummer. As you see, has been Bain, um, <coughs> Aldama, and Jaron Jackson Jr. Um, Conchar zero points. Um, wasn't so good on the floor. Now let's get to the main elephant in the room. Gigi Jackson, Gregory Jackson, my favorite player. Um, Gregory Jackson, he did amazing. Um, dude's a hustle player. He can shoot the ball. Six rebounds, twenty points. Dude is so electric. Um, I really wanted him to play <coughs> to get minutes with John Morant because I feel his game fits so well with a point guard who likes to, you know, throw up lobs. Um, he's also the type of guy who cleans things up. Like to say, if your play, a player miss, he would always try to go for a rebound and try to dunk it in. He's pretty solid. Um, he's gonna definitely gonna be a star caliber player when given the opportunity. Next season, he's gonna be very dominant. Um, he's, I'm telling you, he's that dude. Um, I'm really bummed out that the Clippers passed him up. Still am till this day. Um. <clears throat> Yes, Kobe Brown, at least he's showing flashes of being a solid player, kind of like a Draymond Green, but I still think Gigi Jackson is light years ahead. Um, this man has been killing it, and he's only going to get better. Um, his game definitely reminds me a lot of a Jason Tatum, and with mixed stuff like a <coughs> Rui Hachimar type player, um, He's a lob threat. He can shoot the ball well. His defense is pretty good. Um, obviously, you know, he, um, he's going to get scored on. Um, of course, when he had to test against the Clippers, against Kawhi and Russ, it was so nice to see him guard against superstars. I think next matchup, if he were to play against Kawhi and PG, I think he could definitely go toe-to-toe -to -toe with them. He's, he definitely has the, I mean, he, he has the tool to, to be a two-way player. I consider him as a two-way player. He plays pretty good defense, pretty electric. He's very bouncy. Um, he could shoot the ball pretty well. And it's crazy that, you know, 44 teams essentially passed up on him. Um, well, not literally 44 teams, but, you know, um, 44 there were like 44 chances that teams could have took him, but he fell all the way to 45, and the Grizzlies just got him, scooped him up. Pretty good. glad that he ends up in the Grizzlies. I think the Grizzlies, they're treating him well. Um, it's a very fun culture. Jerry Jackson is definitely mentoring him. You could also see that the way how Gigi Jackson plays, it like Jerry Jackson is definitely... Like teaching him for sure. The way he blocks the shot, so similar to Jerry Jackson Jr. Like, <clears throat> and G. Jackson could have easily chose to stay another year, and he would have been the number one pick. But you know, but I think long term wise, yeah, it doesn't look good, but th that he's a second rounder. I think long term wise, it's gonna pay off because. He's getting trained by guys like John Morant and Jerry Jackson Jr. and Bain. And, oh, man, he's going to be great. But now let's talk about the Knicks. Julius Randle, um, he scored a lot of points, 9 for 21. <coughs> um, 11 rebounds, 5 assists. Um, pretty solid night from him. A good double-double. Really good night from him, actually. Um... You know, he's a double-double. Um, it was against the Grizzlies team. And the Grizzlies, you know, they give up a lot of rebounds, man. So, um, Randall, he got a lot of rebounds. OJ Anobi, and Anobi. New acquisition. Um, he's doing his part. Um, looks like it. it's a win-win trade. Um, the Raptors got the upper hand. They got RJ Barrett and Emmanuel Quickly, who's a bucket. But OJ Anobi, he's a very good 3-and-D defender. 
And hopefully, he's for the Knicks, he stays there. Um, he definitely fits the Tom Thibodeau type uh, player. Um, you know, pretty good for good night for Ananobi. Isaiah Hornstein, he's a monster, man. That dude is a monster. 20 rebounds, um, 12 points, 2 assists, 2 steals, 4 blocks. Um, he just dominated. Miles McBride, um, he had a pretty good performance. 20 points, 6 rebounds, 5 assists. He, he definitely has the potential to be a very good point guard in the future. Um, you know, he's always been a pretty scrappy defender. And he also knows his role. His role, um, he definitely kind of reminds me a lot of, like, prime Toronto, Kyle, like Kyle Lowry. Um, hopefully he gets more minutes because I think he's a pretty good player. Um, Dante DiVincenzo, 13 points, an efficient night for him. But he got a lot of steals, and he got, you know, some assists and rebounds. Achua, um, you know, only six minutes. Um, he was kind of like turnover prone. Um, you know, ball security wasn't the best. Um, Malachi Flynn, um, nine points, um, three assists, solid performance. Josh Hart, seven boards, um, three assists. Eight points. He has been making so much impact for the Knicks team. Um, brings the defense, brings the energy. Um, you know, so many, it's like so many versatile players on the Knicks. Um, <clears throat> and then you got Quentin Grom, who didn't have as much of a good night, but um, nevertheless, he's always been solid for the team. But even though the Grizzlies lost. Um, I was so glad to see G.G. Jackson to get a huge amount of minutes. Um, he's been doing well. Um, I believe, like like I said, um, next season he's going to get the minutes. Um, he's been dominant. He's been dominant his first game. Um, G.G. Jackson, he can have some growing pains. He will have like some off nights when he shoots pretty inefficiently. But I think that's just part of, you know, experience and all that. Um, kind of like, <clears throat> I'm a little bit like Brandon Boston Jr. Um, he might have efficient, inefficient nights, but we, you can tell that he's a hooper. When he gets, a, when he gets a lot of shots, shot volumes consistently, he's going to do good. Just like G.G. Jackson. And I think, I'm, I'm sure he's going to play a lot against the Golden State Warriors. And I think he's going to step it up. And, <clears throat> you know, since the Warriors, they're kind of like a less rebounding team. Um, Who knows? The Grizzlies can upset. But anyways, this should end this video for tonight. Um, I was so happy to see Gigi Jackson getting to shine. But this should definitely end this video. Thank y'all so much for tuning in, and have a good night, or have a good day, and peace.